Weeks after a group of port truck drivers voted to unionize, they opened their mailboxes to find termination notices from their employer. That letter was a violation of federal labor law, a judge ruled Tuesday in a decision that will reinstate the terminated drivers with back pay and interest. The drivers worked for Universal Intermodal, an affiliate of Universal Logistics Holdings, which operates several companies that transport freight containers and merchandise flowing through the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. They are some of the busiest ports in the Western Hemisphere, particularly in recent weeks with a massive supply chain bottleneck causing gridlock at the port of L.A. The group of about 30 drivers voted to join a local of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. Administrative law judge Michael A. Roses found in his ruling that the company was in violation of federal labor law on multiple counts. He said that the company unlawfully interrogated and fired two employees leading union efforts and that once workers at the facility unionized, it slashed their hours, closed the Compton facility where many of them worked and laid off the unionized workers in order to punish them for organizing. The company laid off about 70 employees in total from facilities in Compton and Fontana, including workers employed by its Roadrunner and Universal Trucking subsidiaries. Roses found in his ruling that the company laid off these other workers to crack down on future union activity by getting rid of all employee drivers who were or could be tainted by the union, and then moving forward with plans to hire new untainted employee drivers days after the layoff. The We cannot allow any corporation, no matter how big, to ignore the law, especially as drivers work tirelessly to address the backlog at the ports and supply our community with the goods they need this holiday season. Universal Logistics Holdings did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Universal Logistics Labor Council John Ferrer disputed the allegation that the company closed the Compton facility in response to union activities, writing in a letter referenced in Rose's ruling that it made the decision to close the facility and lay off port drivers before the union certificatio. Labor costs were not a factor in the decision to close the terminal, Ferrer wrote. Richard Tate worked for Universal Logistics at its yard in Fontana for almost two years. The San Bernardino resident connected with the Teamsters in August 2019 and began organizing his co-workers. At first, he had few complaints with the job, Tate said in an interview in March.